Well, welcome everybody. My name is Jeff Tucker. Welcome to Not Scary Farm. We're going to reveal everything you're going to see here at Not Scary Farm 2014. I'm on the Scary Farm Facebook page. I, more importantly, have had 20 something haunts to meet and greet fans from all over the world. And there's one thing they have asked me every time I meet them, year after year after year, and it's right here in my hand. This is a not scary farm. Seek the pass! Please welcome the people, the monsters behind the monsters, the designers of Halloween Hot. Here they come, right over here. Laura Hedeman! Brooke Walters! Daniel Miller! And Gus Brugger! The first returning maze is... this year you'll get to visit the witch's house again oh. and uh, of course there'll be people trick-or-treating there and she'll be kidnapping them and murdering them uh, so it's fun for the like kids she does you know yeah she's sweet it's fun for the <laughs> so it'll be back this year and we're excited to have the witch and her tricksters back inside trick-or-treat and up to no good all right and the next returning maze for 2014 is dominion of the damned uh, this year, Dominion Dam is uh, my design. Um, it's a continuation of uh, this is third year. Uh, we decided last year we uh, brought a king involved into the Dominion. This year, uh, we're then vanquishing the king and bringing the queen back. So now she's uh, she's back. She's not the pretty goth queen you think she is. She is now very bitter and evil and uh, wants to destroy everything. So we have a whole new key room in there again with a whole new script and we're bringing back a classic character, the Wraith. following the Forevermore Killer, and uh, of course he is murdering people in homage to Edgar Allan Poe. It's a modern day storytelling of his stories through a serial killer's murders. And we're gonna have more live murder scenes this year, which I'm excited about. This year, I've inherited Pinocchio Unstrung from my good friend Daniel Miller. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get a little bit deeper into the roots with the book, so you're going to see some scenes from the book that you didn't see in the past. It's going to be more horrifying, more disgusting, and yes, it will have a key room. So, make sure you're ready for that, America. And the, <laughs> the next returning maze is... Black Magic! Black Magic Returns uh, it, it revolves around the story of Houdini uh, coming from a seance and bringing over a minion of uh, illusionists, tricksters, magicians, and taking over uh, old Art Deco theater. Um, this year we're adding a whole new wing called the Hall of Illusion, and uh, it has all new tricks. We're also doing a whole new brand, a brand new uh, key room uh, in there, so it's going to be exciting. Very popular last year. Because what is not Scary Farm without cowboys? Yeah, once again, we will take you to the 1880s Old West, to a town that is uh, best left alone if you are kindly and nice person. It's a horrible, ugly place, and we want to go back there because we love those horrible, ugly people. This year, we are enhancing the key room with some new and fancy features, but that's not all. We're going to add a very exciting town hall shootout to the finale, so uh, watch yourself or you just might get blasted. All right. The Witch's Key in Calico Mine Ride. The newly redone Calico Mine Ride. 
mine ride. Gus, you want to tell us about this? Absolutely. Yes, it's true. We did redo the mine ride this year, but that's not going to stop the system. <laughs> started to think about this, I, uh, we really decided to throw the book out with it. So we've treated it kind of like a sound studio in there, which is cool. So when you go in, you're actually entering a bayou, you're crossing bridges, you're entering a swamp and the woods, and it's wide open. There's not maze walls. It's a completely different approach. And um, on top of that, it's obviously very scary. We've, uh, we've unleashed voodoo spirits in there. We have voodoo demons, voodoo zombies, people that are buried alive. Our skeleton key room, you should watch out for that in there too. You might actually get buried alive. Come on! <laughs> Out, we uh, uh, decided to do a choose your own path in this maze. So you'll be able to choose, well, Papa Legba, who is the god of the crossroads, will help you to decide if you're going to go left or right uh, a few times in the maze, and you can have a completely different experience, all horrifying and all very uh, scary demon voodoo related. But as luck would have it, the very next day I had a dental appointment. <laughs> and I had a bright light in my face and it had the drill bearing down on me. And I was like, ooh, this would be an excellent combination. Because the tooth fairy herself is pretty creepy. I mean she she peers into little children's rooms and she she kind of creeps she creeps me out and she'll go and steal their teeth. I mean who wants teeth? It's really disgusting. So, one of the 
these two things and put them in a really grotesque maze, uh, very gory, very like slaughterhouse-esque, very gritty, and um, that's what we did, basically. So <laughs> the, story, the story is that uh, uh, there, whenever you stay up for the tooth fairy, um, you shouldn't be doing that because if the tooth fairy catches you, she's going to pull you in to her realm and make you into her minion. So the maze is a tour of that, of her minion, her lair. Um, there's all new uh, effects in there that are really creepy and high-end. We're doing a lot of video mapping in there and we're really pushing the envelope. We, listen, we've been trapped a couple years now, and you know, it's been good, lighthearted fun for the last two years, but we've learned our lessons. We've, we've seen what we've done, we know what works, we know what doesn't. And we wanted this year, I wanted this year, if this is my baby, I may look like this charming, nice, friendly guy, but I want you to suffer. You, you, I want you all to be so miserable that you are having the most horrifying, disgusting, disturbing, immersive experience that you will both never want to end and can't wait to get out of it. I want you all to hate me because of what I am going to do to you this year. Trap, lock, and key, ladies and gentlemen. We're estimating 20 to 25 minutes in there, and you will walk out sweaty, exhausted, and you will not be able to go again. Am I right, guys? <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah!